In June 2009, when gardeners from the City of Toronto Parks Department came to Ben Nobleman Park, we were so excited. After months of planning, city gardeners had come to help us plant our first nine fruit trees. It seemed to be a good omen that some of the little trees already had baby fruit. We, the volunteers of Ben Nobleman Park Community Orchard, knew we had work to do. We needed to water those babies twice a week during the growing season. We needed to mulch them annually and make sure the area around the trees was weed free. With a little love and care, we believed our trees would thrive and produce wonderful harvests for years to come. Alas, things weren't really as simple as we imagined. Hardly a year after our first trees were planted, we noticed some strange goings on in our orchard. Our pear trees became spotty and we had no idea why. My attitude was to just hope for the best. Surely those spots would go away in their own time. But the next year, more and more of these ugly orange spots appeared on all three of our pear trees. It was getting to the point that even I realized that hoping for the best probably wasn't going to be good enough. Our pear trees were looking worse and getting weaker. So I finally forced myself to inspect the leaves more closely. And frankly, what I saw was truly horrible. The undersides of the leaves were covered with bubbly blisters. It was as if colonies of tiny aliens had set up shop in our trees as they prepared to take over the world. I knew we were in trouble. So first, I panicked. Then I decided to take action. I made frantic phone calls to gardeners I knew. I sent emails out to any experts I could find. My goal was to figure out what was wrong and how to help our young trees. Now I'm not alone. Most new fruit tree growers don't want to think too much about potential pest and disease problems, especially if their trees seem to be healthy and thriving. But actually, that's the best time to learn prevention techniques. Why? Because when you're growing your fruit trees organically, it's easier to prevent pest and disease problems before they start to spread. The goal of this workshop is to teach you to be proactive in protecting your trees right from the start. You see, fruit trees are delicate and it's inevitable that they will encounter pest and disease problems during their lifetime. That's because Fruit trees are like kids in kindergarten. They catch almost every bug or disease that's going around. Like other trees, fruit trees need regular watering, mulching, soil improvement, especially when they're young, as that will help them to establish themselves. But fruit trees need a little more nurturing and hands-on care to be healthy, and pest and disease prevention is a really important part of that. Sometimes you have to dispose of a tree in order to protect nearby trees of the same type. So you have to be detached. In this workshop series, you will learn how good garden design can help you protect your trees. How good habits can also help you prevent pest and disease problems. How and when to use manual traps and organic sprays how and when to use pruning to prevent the spread of disease, and how to identify and treat some common pest and disease problems. As one of my mentors taught me, growing fruit trees organically isn't the same as neglect. So watch this workshop series and you'll see how with just a few basic tools, you can help your trees stay healthy, happy and productive for many years to come. In the next video, we'll learn how garden design can help you protect your trees. I'll see you then.